Gabrielle, I am right here. Are you done? Yes, please. Cross over. Let's go home. Okay. Did you give Joshua the assignment? Yes, but he said he will come over later to the house to save Emmy. I don't know. Well, while you were inside with Joshua, I saw Leslie. She wants me to come over to her house today. Leslie, that weirdo, why does she want you to visit her? She looks so weird to me, there's something off about her. <laughs> come on stop, she's not, she's cool the way she is. Can't you see how she behaves? I will advise you stay away from her. I think she's not a good influence. I don't see anything wrong with her. Do not say I didn't warn you. Will you be coming with me to the midweek fellowship today? Remember today is Wednesday. No, I have told you, I am going to see Leslie this evening. To do what, if I may ask? Remember we promised mom and dad to always attend midweek fellowship here on campus. Please, enough of the sermon. Open the door please. I never said I wouldn't go for midweek fellowship, I only said I won't be going today. It's alright, I think I have to tell mom and that about this. Because this is getting out of hand. Please save the sermon for another day, just open the door let's go inside. Please. I can't fold my hands and watch my sister be mislead by that demon in human form. I've tried calling mom today but she didn't pick up her call. Should I call Femi and report her? No, I don't want to disturb him, he will be reading with his friends by now for his final exams. Let me call mom again instead. Amelda has really changed because of this girl called Leslie. Who's calling by this time? Hello Gabrielle, sorry I missed your call earlier. I was in the midweek fellowship. I went earlier today, because it was my turn to lead today's fellowship. I hope everything is fine. Everything is fine, and everyone is okay. Mum, it's Gabriel, she's not attending midweek fellowship with me and Femi these days. Again? Yes mum. Please tell her to call me immediately she returns. I will call Femi also, I will ask him to talk to her. Okay mum, good night. Good night. Hum, it's well. Twinny, why are you still awake by this time of the night? Look at the time you're coming back home. Anyways, mum called, and she said you should call her when you get back. What have you tell her? Why not find out from her? Good night. Whatever. I think I need to pray. Lord Jesus, I commit my children into your hands, most especially your daughter Amelda. I pray you send your angels to touch her heart to love you and to serve you. I might not be there to protect them but I pray and ask for your angels to watch over my children. As the scripture teaches, in Proverbs 22 verses 6, train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Let my children not depart from the training and teaching they've learned before going to campus. Do not let them go astray on campus. I rebuke every demon that parade themselves as friends on campus, and trying to lure my children into sin. May your fire consume them in Jesus' name. Amen. Give me and my children the zeal to love you more, in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Angel Belial and Dagon, I give power to you to go into the world, especially the school campuses and posses as many youth as possible. Prowl like a roaring lion and devour as many youth. Use all demonic strategies too. Plant in them the spirit of disobedient, give them the spirit to be hateful, and don't forget, lust of the flesh. Go, use people, music, books, or anything, that you can, to bring their souls to me. Where is that music coming from? Who's playing this kind of worldly song in this house? It's too loud. How come? I have been pressing the bell since and you're not opening the door. What's going on here? It's nothing. Just having fun. Move away. 
What's that for? Hi Imelda, how are you? What is she doing here? Hey you, can you switch off that music now? Okay, fine. What is wrong with the two of you? For Christ's sake, this is not a club. Please, do not insult me nor my guest. Please. I am so sorry, I need to leave. Gabriel, I will see you at the clubhouse tonight. Lamelda, not Gabriel. Club what? Amelda, since when? None of your business, sis. Please Leslie, I am so sorry for all the embarrassment. I will definitely see you tonight. Okay then, bye for now. Bye Imelda, please leave. Hi, Femi. Hi. Wow. Sorry do I know you. Don't worry, see you soon. Who can that be? Wait a minute, I know this face on campus. Yes, she's the girlfriend to the most dreadful cult guy on campus. And she's the head of the pink girls gang. I hope my sisters are not in trouble. She is a dangerous person on campus. What took you so long to open the door? Sorry I took so long to open the door, I was changing my clothes. Welcome. Who did the girl that just left, came to visit, and what's the reason for her visit? Ask Imelda, she was here to see her. Please brother, you need to talk to my twin sister. Where's she? In her bedroom. Hi Leslie, I am indeed sorry for what happened today. It's okay, I understand. Just make sure you're at the club tonight, it will be so fun. Well, I saw your brother, when I was leaving your home this afternoon, he's so cute. You like him? Well, I think so. I wish you could bring him to the club. That will be kind of hard, he is too born again for my liking. <laughs> Maybe next time, but I will definitely be there tonight. See you later. Bye. Who's at the door? Please come in. Hi Imelda, are you busy? No, welcome brother. Is there a problem? Can I sit with you, please? Sure. Thanks. Can I ask you a question, please? Sure. Who is Leslie, and why was she here today? She's my friend and she came here to visit me. Hum, friend. Imelda. Yes Femi. I am your big brother and I will never mislead you. Now, I will like you to tell me, how did you know Leslie? I want to know because, your life is in danger. I met her in school cafeteria for the first time, she was nice to me, then the second time we met was three days ago. I was waiting for Gabrielle outside the shop and when Leslie stopped by to say hello, and then, she invited me to her place for a party. Party? Yes. When was that? Yesterday. So why did you not call me to inform me about this party? I told Gabrielle about it. Although, she was against it. Tell me, who is responsible for looking after you girls in school? But you went for a group reading and your phone was unavailable. Well I am sorry I did not inform you. But remember, you didn't go out with your phone. That's fine my dear sister, but I don't want to see you with Leslie anymore. But why, Leslie has done nothing wrong and she's been a very good friend to me. Is it because Gabrielle doesn't like her, or was because I didn't go for yesterday's midweek fellowship because of Leslie's party? No, not because of that. Then why? Holy Spirit, I need you now, speak through me and help me explain the deep things of the Spirit and the truth that can restore my sister to salvation. Femi, for I will give you words and wisdom that none of your adversaries will be able to resist or contradict. Luke 21 verses 15. Joel 2 27, you will be convinced that I am in the midst of Israel. I am the Lord your God, there is no other. My people will never again be put to shame. Proverbs 11:30. the fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he that winneth souls is wise. Therefore win your sister back to the Lord. Proverbs 1 verses 8 to 9, listen, my son, to your father's instruction, don't neglect your mother's teaching, for they are a graceful wreath on your head, and beads for your neck. Amen. Thanks Holy Spirit. You see, Amelda, that friend of yours, called Leslie as an agent of darkness. When 2 Corinthians 11:14 tells us that, Satan disguises himself as an angel of light, it means that Satan capitalizes on our love of the light in order to deceive. 
Your friend Leslie belongs to one of the deadly campus female fraternity and she is dating the head of the largest boys fraternity on campus too. That's not true brother Femi. She told me she's a pastor's daughter, and she made me understand that clubbing and hanging out with friends is okay. Interesting. What else did she tell you? Well, I know she's not a bad person, she's so fun to be with. Well, my dear sister, those the devil is using here on earth, would wants us to think that they are good, truthful, loving, and powerful, all the things that God is. He will not want to portray himself as a dark, devilish being with horns, he knows that would not be very appealing to the majority of people. So you mean, she is sent to make me sin against God? Exactly my sister, most people are not drawn to darkness, but to light. Therefore, Satan appears as a creature of light to draw us to himself and his lies. How can we discern which light is of God and which light is of Satan? Good question. You see, our minds and hearts are easily confused by conflicting messages. So back to your question, how can we make sure we are on the right path? Psalm 119 says, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Verse 105, and, the unfolding of your words gives light, it imparts understanding to the simple, verse 130. How? The words of God have power. Just as God's voice spoke physical light into existence, it can speak spiritual light into our hearts. Exposure to his voice, in his word, will help us recognize the difference between the good light of God and that which is counterfeit. But brother Femi, what makes you think club and parting with people you love is a sin? I think it's not, and that is all I see Leslie do. Satan presents sin to us as something pleasing and beautiful to be desired, and he presents false teaching as enlightening and life-changing. Millions follow his deception simply because they do not know God's truth. Isaiah 8 20-22 describes the darkness that results from ignoring the word. I see. So please, cut off everything relationship you have with Leslie, she's pretending to be a friend just to make you sin against God. Sadly, as Isaiah says, when people do not have the dawn, they wander in darkness and often become angry at God, refusing to come to him for help. This is why Satan's masquerade as an angel of light is so effective. It turns white to black and black to white and gets us believing that God is the liar, that God is the source of darkness. Then, in our distress, we focus our hatred towards the only one who can save us. Thanks so much brother, you are actually the one person who knows how to talk to me. I called mum and she was so angry with me on the phone, and saying so many things, but I was with Leslie at that time, so Leslie too was unhappy the way mum spoke to me, so, she asked me to end mum's call. Because I was angry, I hanged up the phone. I feel bad allowing her to use me do things I don't like doing. That's all right, the most important thing is that, you have acknowledged your wrong and willing to change and return to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Just make sure you call mom and apologize, she's so worried about you. I will. Please rise, let's pray. Is everything okay in here? Yes we were about to pray. You can join us, 20. They all prayed together and praised God. The next day Imelda called her mom and apologized. Leslie tried several times to reach Imelda, but Imelda refused to pick up her call. Leslie begins to threaten the lives of the siblings in school so, the three siblings decided to pray concerning Leslie, and her plans towards them, then God intervened. The night Leslie and her friends planned to attack the siblings at home, they were all involved in a terrible accident and they all died on the spot. The news went round the school and a lot of people were happy because Leslie her boyfriend and friends has been a long threat to the school and its environment. Peace and happiness returned on campus. Story by Quincy Onyakachi Okoy Oragwa. If you enjoyed this video, please kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the like button, leave a comment and don't forget to share. Thanks for watching. Q Studios Animation TV Channel.